I'll be very honest with everyone. I was completely shocked when I heard this news. I thought for sure Donald Trump would have been smart enough to not reveal his plan for cryptocurrency until after the election if he won. But there is a headline out now that proves everything this channel has said about what's going to happen with cryptocurrency after the election is completely 100% true. And it also confirms that if you want cryptocurrency to increase in value and increase in utility, you truly only have one choice for president. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are shaking their heads. Florida Maquis, nobody's talking about this. What are you talking about? Why do you think Kamala Harris is going to be president? Well, there are other things as well on top of the issue with cryptocurrency that are now starting to be revealed. Even Donald Trump himself, I believe, knows that his campaign is pretty much over. And it's a fool's errand. Now, if you'd like to join us, it's actually tied to something that happened back in 2020. A lot of people don't believe that election was on the up and up, and that's fair. Everybody's entitled to their own belief. But there is psychological operations evidence that perhaps we were all wrong. That perhaps we gave too much credit to the masses. Now, if you'd like to join us, that's going to be the topic of our new video over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. It's only one US dollar. That's it. Lowest allowable level. One dollar. A lot of folks signing up lately. I think a lot of folks are seeing the truth that if they're going to understand what's happening, they need the basic fundamentals, the 24 cognitive biases, the 24 logical fallacies, understanding those is going to be critical. It's going to be more important than any weapon you have in your arsenal, the ability to control your mind. If you don't have the ability to control your mind and you're just led about by your emotions one way and the other, it doesn't matter how many beans you have stored up, how much of a great shot you are with your weapons, or how many bullets you have, or even your ability to render medical aid, band-aids, it truly even doesn't matter how much you know about the Bible. All four of those bees are going to go away if you don't have the ability to control your brain. Now, if you're thinking it's a risk, if you're thinking, gosh, I don't want to waste a mon the money these days, things are tight, I get that. I work seven days a week. A lot of people don't know that. I work seven days a week, not only putting videos up here, but elsewhere. Would love to have you over there. One U.S. dollar, and it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What is today? 8th of September? So 90 days would be what? Nine? Oh, my gosh, you'd be into December. October, November, December, yeah. Before you would have to make a decision where you could get all of your money back. Now, without any further delay, God bless all of you who have signed up. Thank you so much. We're going to have a new video up next couple days. So keep your eyes open. Now, let's get right to it. What did Trump say? 9 September 2024, 1040 this morning. Trump unveils plan to stop de-dollarization. Now, wait until you hear this, folks. You're going to scratch your heads after you read the details of this because for all of his talk about MAGA, making America great again, clearly he doesn't believe it. Clearly he doesn't believe it. He thinks it's the federal government's job to go stick their nose in other people's business. Many people have said, Florida Maquis, if we elect Trump, we'll retreat from all of these wars and we won't be involved in it. Oh, he just wants to get involved in another way. The U.S. presidential candidate has pledged 100% tariffs on countries that are seeking to replace Greenback in their own international transactions. Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump has claimed that dumping the dollar will be extremely costly for foreign countries which pursue the policy, adding that they will face unprecedented import taxes for pursuing non-dollar trade. Now, a lot of people are thinking, well, gosh, you know, I mean, well, if they want to trade with us, they better trade in the dollar, even amongst themselves and other countries. Well, I guess that's not that's not what he's saying. 
Donald Trump is saying if country A and country B want to conduct trade amongst themselves, they need to convert their currencies into the U.S. dollar first to conduct that trade and then convert it back, which costs them a ton of money. He's not just saying with us. He's saying even amongst themselves. Speaking to his supporters during a campaign rally in Wisconsin on Saturday, the former U.S. president pledged to maintain the status of the greenback as the world's reserve currency, emphasizing that it is under, quote, major siege, as a growing number of states have been turning to other ways of settling trades between themselves. Quote, you leave the dollar and you're not doing business with the U.S. because we are going to put a 100% tariff on your goods, Trump said. A broad trend towards using national currencies instead of the greenback has gained momentum following the massive economic restrictions introduced against Russia by the U.S. and its allies in the wake of the escalation of the Ukrainian conflict in February 2022. After being cut off from the Western financial system, Moscow has turned to alternative options for settlement with some of Russia's foreign partners following suit. Like last week, Russian President Vladimir Putin said that Russia hadn't been pursuing a de-dollarization policy, but was forced to look for other options after a series of unprecedented measures, including Russia's central bank being cut off from dollar transactions, a ban on the transfer of U.S. banknotes to the country, and the freezing of the country's forex reserves. According to Putin, Moscow and its BRICS partners, BRICS stands for Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. Partners are now using national currencies, their own, in 65% of mutual trade settlements. Now, once again, this is not about them trying to settle issues with the United States. This is about them settling trade between themselves. A lot of people haven't realized that for countries to trade amongst themselves because the world reserve currency is the dollar, they had to first go buy dollars, both of those countries, U.S. dollars, then conduct their trade in dollars, and then convert back, and that costs them a ton of money. So a lot of countries are like, you know what? If, if we don't do exactly what the United States says, the U.S. could do to us what they did to Russia and to Venezuela. See, a lot of people think Venezuela crashed because of socialism. This proves it didn't. This proves it didn't. Because what Donald Trump is talking about right now is saying, okay, if you trade country A with your currency, with country B and their currency, and you don't involve our dollar, if you want to sell us stuff, we're going to punish you. If you want to sell stuff here, so much for the free market, huh? So much for free market capitalism. You see, tariffs are actually a form of socialism. You see, there are a lot of folks way back in 2008, 2016, when Barack Obama was president, who were absolutely, a lot of conservatives, a lot of Republicans, lambasting and going after and absolutely mercilessly attacking Barack Obama. Why? Because he wanted to put a tariff on Chinese tires. That was anti-free market. That was anti-capitalist. And we can't do... And now when Trump does it, Apparently, it's okay. Apparently, it's fine. But it's not just for trade with us now. He wants to do what Obama did, but he wants to do it on steroids. This will, if he does this, this will crater cryptocurrency. This proves Donald Trump is part of the cabal. He's part of the deep state. He is part of those who want there to be no law other than the law they make for themselves on a daily basis. It proves he's part of the criminal organization. Because what is this? It's financial bullying is what it is. It's financial bullying. Some little tiny country in Asia wants to trade with another little tiny country in Asia and they want to trade and not use U.S. dollars. If they want to try to then sell anything to the United States, that has nothing to do with that. Donald Trump's going to add a 100% tariff. Now, you ready for this? This is why this, is, this would fail miserably. Members of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN, have been planning to discuss a shift to settlements in local currencies instead of the U.S. dollar, euro, yen, and pound sterling. 
The combined GDP of this economic bloc, which includes Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam, reportedly amounts to $4 trillion. You see, he understands that sanctions are damaging the dollar, but he still wants to strong-arm people into doing things his way. I want you to remember that term. Financially strong-arming people into doing what you want regardless of what they think is good for them. Strong-arming people into doing things that they don't want to do. Hmm. Sounds familiar. Sounds familiar. And let's go over this one more time, those of you who are still staunchly supporting Donald Trump. When confronted in court under deposition about E. Jean Carroll, the thing, you know, this uh, sexual abuse thing, 26 other women, by the way, had accused him of the same thing, one of which lives overseas and has no connection to the Democrat Party whatsoever. He said, you know what? She's not my type. She's not my type. Now, that's the, you know, I don't know what the term you'd use is. That is, ask any cop. That is what every rapist says. But then this came out. You see, on the left is Donald Trump's second wife. Who's that? Marla Maples. And on the right is E. Jean Carroll, when, around the time this happened. They could be sisters. They could literally be sisters. They look exactly alike. Remember the thing with Stormy Daniels? Imagine, guys, and I want you guys out there to just take a moment and think about this. You're 60 years old. You're on your third marriage. Your wife is at home. She doesn't want you around. She's just had a baby. She wants time to herself. So you take off to a golfing outing. And you're a Democrat. You see, a lot of people forget this. Donald Trump is a Democrat. Remember, you're, you're a Democrat billionaire with impunity. And you run into this really good-looking 26-year-old porn star who looks just like, just like your first wife when you met her. Looks just like her. And you're, you're there, of course, you're there with your buddy, Bill Clinton, because all you Democrats hang out together. You know, complete impunity. You can do whatever the hell you want. You remember Bill Clinton, don't you? The guy with Hillary at home? How many of you would blame him if you had Hillary at home and this girl started making eyes at you? Started smiling just that right way. See, he lied about it, too. He lied about it, too. It's just this girl was smart enough to keep some evidence. This girl was smart enough to keep some evidence. This girl didn't. It's a different time. Different era. You see, this whole thing with Trump just has a massive logic failure for me. He wants to bring in a billionaire into government a guy far, far wealthier than he is, Elon Musk, who wants to implant brain chips in people because he wants to start deprogramming people from the cult of Christianity. See, those amongst those atheist billionaire types, they believe that the idea of any religion is just a psychological dysphoria. And if you implant a chip to take that part of the brain and kind of turn it down and turn up other parts of the brain that you could get rid of all religion, including Christianity, and we'd have a much more peaceful world. A nice, peaceful, secular world. This same guy who wants to put this guy and make him a czar, make him a czar to get rid of um, government inefficiency, I guess, has also said he likes taking guns early, before you've had due process. He's on the record saying this. He's also, of all people in politics right now, 
the one who has the closest relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. There are more pictures of him and Jeffrey Epstein than any other politician. A close second is Bill Clinton with Jeffrey Epstein. And then, most recently, those of you who think that I'm just living in the past, remember when Donald Trump beat Joe Biden in that debate because Joe Biden had that mental failure proving that he had some issue going on? Well, after that, people have forgotten this. Donald Trump wanted to give Joe Biden a second chance at that debate. See, to me, that was proof that he knew he was going to get whitewashed. He was going to get clobbered by Kamala Harris. And then all of you out there who have been talking about everything that went on with COVID, Donald Trump was green with jealousy of Joe Biden. Green with jealousy about the COVID vaccine. In fact, quoting saying, I hope everyone remembers they're getting the COVID-19 vaccine, that when they're getting, pardon me, the COVID-19 vaccine, that if I wasn't president, you wouldn't be getting that beautiful shot for five years at best and probably wouldn't be getting it at all. And this is the guy you want to vote for. This is the guy you want to vote for? Deprogramming the cult of Christianity, wants to take your guns, good friends with Epstein, wanted to give Joe Biden a second chance to win a debate, I guess, and then wants credit for the vaccine. Don't believe me? If you don't believe me, why don't you listen to this Trump, this uh, channel? It's a huge Trump supporter. Now, good people can disagree on things. This is Lisa Haven. We've talked about Restricted Republic and Justice Knight, and we're forked up. I was trying to think of their foodie channel. They have a foodie channel. Her most recent video today, this is why I'm deathly afraid of the 2024 election. Please don't miss this. Let's go ahead and listen to her own words. Today's broadcast, I am deathly afraid of what is going to happen in the 2024 election. And what I mean by that is I am deathly afraid that communist Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz are going to win the election. And I mean that with all honesty. I pray every day that that doesn't happen. I don't know how the election is gonna go down. But because of the mere fact that the mainstream media is out there right now, all for the most part, all except for maybe 10%, 90% of the mainstream media is sending a pro Kamala Harris message to the American people and they're sucking it up and a negative message to the American people uh, about Donald J. Trump. In fact, they're out there lying off their keisters about Donald J. Trump. They're saying that it's his Project 2025, which it's not. He has nothing to do with that. In fact, uh, the Heritage Foundation, it's a conservative think tank. They, they put stuff like that every single time out. No, I'll let you watch the rest of that for yourself because I don't want to step on their channel. But here's the idea. You see, she lives in Arizona. Arizona is one of those states now that's up for play and very, very important to both campaigns. So I'm sure that Lisa Haven, Justice Knight are seeing a lot of ads from both camps. You see here in Florida, we're no longer a swing state. We used to be the swing state of all swing states in Florida, but we're no longer a swing state. Now, I think the contrast is really something that deserves a lot more attention and we'll probably do this in another video. But the idea of the mainstream media being all in the bag for one or the other, isn't that capitalism? Wouldn't the idea of fair coverage, the idea, well, they need the mainstream media needs to be as you know much in the, I guess, they should give as much good coverage and bad coverage to both candidates? Isn't that socialism? The idea of forced fairness. Now, I don't want to say anything negative about Lisa Haven, Justice Knight, Restricted Republic. Love their channel. Love their content. But they are smart. They are absolutely two of the smartest YouTubers out there. Why? Because they understand how marketing works. They understand the game very clearly that if you have a message you want to put out there, 
you need to understand how the game works. You need to understand how you bring people in. They have a huge command of this. They have Justice Knight. They have Lisa Haven, Restricted Republic. Um, they have Insta- Instagram, Facebook, all of the social media everywhere. This is their website for We're Forked Up. You can sign up at Restricted Republic, just like it sounds. It's absolutely a a great um, series of videos. But make no mistake, they understand how marketing works. And why do I say this? Why am I leaving with this? Well, Kamala Harris's campaign seems to have a better command of how marketing works which I guess is the irony of all ironies that you would accuse her of being socialist when they're doing a much better job of utilizing the free market and capitalism than Donald Trump is. You would think this guy was the socialist. Demanding fairness for everyone? Demanding everything be fair all the time for everyone. How many times have we heard Donald Trump complain, I'm not being treated fairly. I'm not being treated fairly. And now he has come out and said that he wants to punish countries that trade amongst themselves in their own currencies. That he wants everybody, everybody everywhere in the whole world to have to convert their currencies to the dollar to conduct international trade. That's probably the single most deep state thing I've ever heard. It's wholly criminal. Truly. I mean, you can talk about, you know, pulling troops back from here, pulling troops back from there, but if you destroy somebody's finances, if you destroy their economy, that's far worse than war. Which, uh, which founding father was it that said, somebody's going to have to help me out here, um, that if you allow, give me, contr- give me control of a country's, the printing of a country's currency, and I care not who makes its laws? Please, somebody tell me how this is MAGA. Please, somebody tell me how stopping other countries from trading in their own currencies and punishing them for doing so. Tell me how that makes America great again and doesn't just make him a global tyrant or by, I guess, association, all of us complicit in global tyranny. Battlefield of the mind. God bless. Join us on Patreon. A brand new video coming out. You're going to want to see it. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. And check out Lisa Haven. Check out Justice Knight, Restricted Republic. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. They understand the concept of marketing. If you want to be a capitalist, if you want to get a message out there, you need to understand how marketing works. And I'll leave it there. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Pray for them. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.